Welcome to Crane Talk, powered by Link Belt Cranes, where we will focus on the people, places, and parts that truly make the difference. Today we travel to Illinois to take a closer look at Link Belt's newest rough train crane, the 85RT. My name is Keith Jezakowski. I'm an operator with Local 150 working for W.E. O'Neill right now. I've been running cranes for 15 years now. The workload I've been doing, stripping forms, setting forms, offloading steel trucks. Actually, this tower crane behind us, I did all the form work and set all the steel in the hole for that. That was 4,000, 5,000 pound bundles in a hole, 120 foot radius, no issues whatsoever. The one thing I really do like is how smooth the controls are. A lot of the other cranes that I have with joysticks, you have to get the joystick thrown a little bit, you know, good two, three inches before everything starts moving. With this one, it engages right away. And I can set the controls to the speed that I want. And once I have everything set up at 100%, those controls are instant response. It's the smoothest I've seen in a long time. Cameras have been fantastic. I love that Wench camera. The backup camera, the counterweight camera, it really comes in nice. I'll actually drive and swing around a lot of times if I need to come out of a hole backwards, set up over the engine, and then when I come up into an area, I'll turn the crane one way while I'm swinging the other way to get the orientation the same way. And that backup camera the, on the counterweight helps a lot, along with the side camera. Travel is real smooth on this. I have had to use the variable outrigger position chart because there were a few times that I can only get one outrigger out, like 25%, you know, a quarter of the way out, and the rest were at 100. So being able to use that chart in the computer, that, that was really nice. Because everything else, it's either full half charts or full charts, you know, it, it's all or nothing. I have done quite a bit of fine metering. There were a few times where I'm just doing some heavy lifts and I had to bring it down slow. So I would be able to put the winch speed down on the turtle and actually adjust the fine metering so I could come down a couple inch at a time without it being real jerky. So as far as setting equipment and stuff, you can dial that in pretty nice. Overall, I do like how smooth it is because I really don't even have to hit the throttle that hard on this. I can work really fast, even above an idle. As I'm starting to get in the swing, I'll just give it a little bit of gas, but it's not wide open throttle at all. Stay tuned for more stories on the next Crane Talk.